Good morning. <laughs> As you can tell by the title, it's 24 hours with a newborn baby. And let me just tell you something. Every day looks different. It is 8.45 right now. I just woke up because I did a lot of the overnight shifts. <laughs> and somehow my 21 month old daughter is still sleeping when normally she gets up at 6.45. So it's definitely not a normal morning, but I have my coffee in hand. My husband's outside doing yard work. And yeah, so I'm gonna take you along with the day and also show you maybe some tips and tricks to new moms out there that we do to make our life a little easier with a newborn baby. Cause with a newborn baby the first time around, oh my God, were we lost. <laughs> So come along with us and cheers to hopefully a sleepful day. So I'll show you right now what we have done. This is our downstairs guest bedroom. This is a place for the baby when we're downstairs. Here he is, my little man. My little man. This allows us to hear him downstairs and then usually he'll sleep upstairs at nighttime. Hi, little man. Close Good morning. Do you know what time it is? It's nine o'clock. It's nine a.m. Oh, sleepy head. Hi. Keeping your feelings bottled up inside. Sunshine. To really live, you gotta die. Poppy, who's on your pajamas? Bluey. Who is it? Bluey. Bluey? Is it Bluey? Papa. Papa. Here you go. Mm, let me see. Now it's time to put the baby back down. This is about an hour after he woke up. I'm putting him back down in our room to sleep in his own little crib. Oh, I just love him so much. I've been trying to drink a lot of green drinks since I don't have a lot of time to make meals. And that way I can get all my nutrients, especially lots of greens and spinach and also drinking so much water. You can oftentimes forget to drink water, especially new moms. So I'm trying every hour to drink at least eight ounces. And now for a little walking on the treadmill. I'm going about 2.5 miles per hour and also trying to work on my diastis recti. I think that's how you say it because this core needs some working. Okay, real quick what I'll say about working out and you're probably like, is it too soon what you're doing? I worked out my whole entire pregnancy and right now all I care about is just movement in whatever way that looks. Today it was walking very slowly on the treadmill for 20 minutes just to stretch my body because I felt like labor so intense that you just get so stiff and I needed to start like opening up my body, start moving my legs a little bit, but by no means am I trying to run, do major cardio. The only cardio I'm doing is literally going up and down my stairs every day, putting the baby down. And then when it comes to this type of ab work, it's really to try and help my diastis recti. I think that's how you say it. So I did not do that my first pregnancy and I definitely felt like my abs never got back together. So I'm just trying to do it really slowly, three rounds of 10 each of both those exercises. And hopefully this time around it does something and it works because this is kind of what my doctor recommended to start doing. Very low, 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 low impact work. 
just helping get my body back to, I don't know, just feeling a little bit better and more supported, I guess is the best way to say that. Anyways, <laughs> that is my workout for today. If you even want to call it a workout back to sitting on the couch, pretty much the rest of the day. <laughs> like I said, I'm on the couch majority of the day. I was just holding my little baby boy, Jack, and he fell right back asleep. So that was good. He was up for about 30, maybe 40 minutes, but it takes him a while to feed. And then he's like, what's going on? And then he gets sleepy and we put him right back down. I'm having a little time alone because my daughter's upstairs napping and my son's napping. My husband just went out for a little bit and I'm having what I'm like been craving all summer long, watermelon. So maybe watch a little YouTube video, eat some of this, maybe take a nap if the kids will let me. <laughs> and yeah, newborn life. So I spoke too soon, literally right after I filmed that. She was upstairs awake, pooped her pants, so didn't want to take a nap. And now we're outside eating watermelon while the baby is still hopefully sleeping. Let's check. We have one of those monitors. Let's see. Jack. Yep, still sleeping. That's good you didn't wake baby Jack up. In the afternoon, I like to get laundry done. So we just go upstairs. I put on a little show for her to watch. She'll play with some toys in her basket. That way I can get things done. And then it's family time at the end of the night once she has dinner. This is what it looks like right now. Yes, another show is on in the background, but we try to put her down with a book before bed. So her dad will read her a book or I will, and she loves it so much. She's a little wild child, so calming her down can be a lot. And then finally, she'll have her bottle and we'll put her back down and I'll have some time in our downstairs bathroom to wash my face. I've been using a lot of fresh products because they're all natural and that's what I was using during pregnancy. So I love like their night cream, their eye cream, especially their face wash. And this is a little me time. I feel like this is the only time I have to myself is a little face washing. And yes, the baby is back up. So we'll eat dinner and we'll watch some TV have the little baby in my arms and he'll go back down probably around like seven o'clock and then wake up around 10 that's kind of the schedule okay, right now so it is 8 40 at night i'm trying to be quiet because the kids are finally down my husband just put the baby down so fingers crossed um, i'll probably go to bed soon and we'll see who does the first wake up which is normally around like 11 30 but the past two nights, like everyone knows, newborn life is so different every night. Past two nights, he's kind of woken up a lot. So we've been pretty tired. I now have like a new love and appreciation for coffee in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, 8.40, he went down. Poppy went down at a seven every night. It's so cute watching her on the camera though, because sometimes it takes her an hour to get down, but she just talks to herself. So wish us luck tonight.